Hi guys, so it wouldn't be Carnivale week if we didn't have a game of Carnivale to show you. Um, so I've got the Rashar. Uh, for my Rashar, we have the Magi Rashar, two Ugdru Rashar, and two of the hybrids. Uh, that's just the starter set that you get for uh, for the Rashar faction. Justin has his favourite guild. Uh, which, yep. What have you got uh, for the guild? I have a pair of downtrodden workers out to fight today. Uh, to start up, my leader is the Cafe de Misi. Then I have the Butcher, the Harlot. Apparently, you and Sam think this is one of my favourite miniatures. I did. And then I have two little citizens of Venice. Okay. So um, are you keep you keep money of your guys in reserve then? Uh, yes, I'm actually going to try and be sneaky with this, guys. There's a, a deployment tactic you can use called sneak attack. So it basically means he will be held in reserve, and on a roll of a nine up, he can appear anywhere on the board within five inches of yeah. one of Andy's miniatures. The good thing is, though, when, when you deploy your, your miniatures in reserve, um, you can choose which sort of deployment you want them to, to, to attempt every turn. Yeah. Um, they can basically have an assault move, which is where they come on just from your table edge. Don't need to roll from that. They can do that any time yeah. uh, after the first turn. Yeah. Sneak attack, I have to roll a nine up. Uh, yeah. The other one is uh, seven up. Is it seven up or eight? Uh, it's seven up. It's seven, a up seven up, up and you come in from flank. any table edge aside from your opponent's deployment. Okay, so that's that's not so bad either. Right. Yep. So okay, we've, we've already set up. Um, yes. Normally normally we just roll to see who, who sets up first, and then it's one miniature about. Mm. But as we're going to play the uh, the very first mission of the campaign, yep. which is basically a slugfest. Um, well, it's uh, unexpected clash. We have slugfest. five rounds <laughs> of just rocking up to each other and beating seven colours off mm, yep. out of each other. That's it. Um, it's whoever can do the most boxes of damage to the, to the opponent yep. by the end of five turns. Is the winner yeah um we have of course our agendas so i have my secret agenda below yep andy has his and i've rolled off for mine so you'll be seeing it on screen now so neither of us knows what the others is okay. but we'll find out at the end of the game all right then so uh all we have to do now is roll for our command checks yep so, so command of four on the cabin of Missy. and command four for my maji rush r and that's two and that's two, but... My mind is six, so I yes. get to go first. Yes, because your Majirashar is smarter than me, he goes first. He does indeed. Right, so, activate your first mini. Um, first, guys, uh, first guy I want to activate, I think, is um, some of my Ugdru Rashar. Yeah. Um, I really don't want to move them too far forward. This is a slugfest, and it's much better if they come and fight me rather than me going to fight them. Mm. So I'll make a, a nice little move up there. Uh, that's one one action point. Mm -hmm. And the next action point doesn't really need to do anything, so I'll just put him into... At the ready? At the ready. Okay, he can, fair enough. He can try and attack anybody who tries to, to come in and assault him. Yep. Well, with me being the guild guys, I have absolutely no range, so I want to get into combat as quickly as I can. So, I'm going to activate my Cap de Misi, and he is going to run on his dexterity of six. Okay. So, oh, critical on the destiny, and two normal. Okay. So that's an extra six movement onto his normal movement of five, so 11 inches he moves. He is feeling a little frisky this morning. That's good. Come and, come and get killed. <laughs> All right. Well, he has three action points, but do I really want him running ahead of the pack before anyone else has a chance to advance because he moves so much quicker. So I think I'll do what you've done and send him to at the ready as well. Ah, that's it. See. It's meant to be a slugfest, but... Oh. <laughs> but you're just scared of fighting the, fighting the fish, man. I'm scared of having him standing on his own, <laughs> fighting the fishmen, while the rest of them just wade into him. Okay. So, next one up then, I'm going to move the other Ugru Rashar. Mm -hmm. Where we'll stick him there. Oops. Yep. And he's going to do the same thing. He's going to go into... At the ready. At the ready. Uh, well, the next one for me will be the Harlot. With her dexterity five, she'll be running as well. To try and keep up with uh, my leader. Uh, she gets two aces, so that's seven inches she gets to move. Bring her up to there. See, this is the problem whenever you have such a difference in dexterity between some of your miniatures. Some of them are just so much faster, they can overextend themselves if you're not careful. Well, so that's one action point done. Yeah, that's one action point. Uh, Come on. 
<laughs> I know, I know. I have to try and keep her up with the Captain Amici so she'll run again. I got two, so seven again. Just have her stand up beside him. So your next miniature. I'm not using the extra action point she has. Okay. Um, next up then. We shall um, move one of the hybrids. And the hybrid has movement of four, mm -hmm. so we can just... Yeah. Shuffle him, oops, in the side there, mm -hmm. so he can uh, just move that tree in a tiny bit so he can get in there. <laughs> That'll do. I think you're taking lessons from Daryl. I well, unlike unlike Daryl, you know, there, there's no real advantage to me standing <laughs> standing that terrain. Unlike yeah. when he moves, he moves terrain out of the way and then puts drop pods on it. Yeah. So, uh, but right anyway, okay. So I will activate my next, or do you have another action point with him? I've, I've found their action point, but I'm not using it. He's just so he's just going to stand there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next up, I'll have to activate one of my citizens of Venice. Uh, let's see. Dexterity of four. Again, I'm trying to get across the board as quickly as I can. So run. And gets nothing. So he only moves four inches. And then he will try to run again. Wait. Wee. Dice flying everywhere. Get a little token. And, oh well, I'll just grab another dice from here. Or wait, that was the destiny dice. There it is. So run him again. Uh, yeah, that's more like it this time. He gets six. So you can stand up with everybody else. Excellent. Your move. Mm -hmm. um, I'll move my other hybrid four inches to here and go at the ready. Mm -hmm. uh, right, well, I have to activate my last citizen of Venice, who's going to be running as well. Critical on the destiny and one, so that's five onto the four is nine inches. So she comes up to here. She has one action point left, but there's nowhere really for her to move, so I will end on that. Okay, now we'll move our magic rush hour. Mm -hmm. He'll move up to here. And he's going to use his hydras, his claws of Mother Hydra. Right, so. So 24 inches. Okay, so you're going for a little magic? Yeah, against that citizen of Venice. Okay. So Citizen of Venice is in line of sight. Yep. Grand. Okay. Um, cast and spell cost me one of my karma. Mm -hmm. And I has the range of 24 inches. My mind is six. So I normally get six dice, but the difficulty of the spell is minus 2d10. So it goes down to four dice. Mm -hmm. um, I can then target four guys within range uh, because my magical is four. Um, targeting this guy, it's four guys within six inches of range, and just to make it a lot more impressive, Justin used his admirable Photoshop skills to give us a nice template. Yeah. <laughs> just to show oh, you. Oh, I just <laughs> realised what I've done here. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. There we go. Be <laughs> everybody within range. Yeah. So well, I know we talk about pie plates, but bloody hell. Yeah. <laughs> this is six inches, six inches in any directions, which turns into a six inch diameter. So uh, four twelve inch. Uh, yes, yeah, 12 inches, basically. Uh, yeah, all around, diameter. whoever's first hit. So, okay. That's insane. Uh, uh, that's going to be two. Two, right. Two damage on everyone? Uh, actually, with me being the guild, I have the reroll dice ability. So, mm -hmm. my little citizen of Venice is going to spend one karma to make you reroll one of those successes. Reroll one success. Yep. Okay. See if we can get it as a failure. Oh. Hey. No. Nope. So it's still two. two. So, so everybody takes two. Uh, well, it's two models take two. Um, it's equal to my magic roll four. Magic roll four dice. Hang on. Claws of Mother Hydra. It's for each success you get another target who gets hit. Oh, yeah. Okay. Not just so everyone under it. So two guys then. Two guys. So my citizen of Venice takes two. And. 
And who else? The Cabodomisi takes two. Cabodomisi takes two, fair enough. Okay, so that's right, the end of the first round. Um, and I regenerate a, a karma, point. karma point. And because I have one, one action point left, Oh no! I can cast the same thing again. Yeah, but now it costs you it costs two. Me two this time. Yeah, so basically you can cast two of those a turn for the price of one. Yeah. That's not bad at all. Um, and we shall hit. Same guy again. Citizen okay. Dennis again. Same guy again. I almost forgot. I need to mark off one karma from him. Oh, that's a critical success. Oh. On the Destiny dice as well. Oh. So that's two. So, you gotta force me to reroll. <laughs> <laughs> I can't force you to reroll the destiny. Yep. Which is really going to hurt. But I will force you to reroll the other success because that will help me slightly. And there's not really much else to do with the citizen no. of Venice. And it is, it's all right. So that's. Uh, so it's just a critical. It's a critical, uh, which is one, one, only one hit. So one hit on the citizen of Venice. Yeah. That I can live with. So you guys, and I, and I regenerate the, a karma point again. Yep, yeah, but just to point out to everybody, whenever it says reroll number X on your sheet, you can reroll yourself, you can force an ally to reroll, or you can force your opponent to reroll, which I think is reasonably useful. Reasonably useful, yep. Yeah. yeah, you see, I was hoping Andy would have uh, picked my Capo Demise there to do the reroll, because he has reroll all dice as one of his special rules. No. No, I know it's not <laughs> happening. Not I happen. know it's not happening. Hit somebody else. <laughs> yeah. Bounce it onto him. Yeah. But anyway, that's the top of the first round. Okay. And he's activated. Uh. Yep. So end of the first round. End of first round. Now. That's it. Uh. So on to round two. On to um, round two. I've got still four command points. Yep. Um. One, two, three. Yeah. I got two. So you go first anyway. Okay, first guy that's going to activate will be the Magi Rashar. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's going to cast Claws of Mother Hydra. Yikes. <laughs> Again. Yikes. For one. Yeah. Um, this is absolutely horrifying. I'm going to cast it on the Citizen of Venice again. Uh, uh, for two. For two. Well, I'll make you reroll one of them, okay. but that means I've used up three of my karma, and it's As still a success, two. so it's still two. That's two on the capo and two on the Citizen of Venice, then? Yep. And I regenerate a karma point, so that was free. Yep. Uh, do you want to know the worst of it? That Citizen of Venice is onto his second pain threshold, so now he's minus two on all his rolls. Okay. Uh... Next up, then, for his second point. Yep. Close what are you going to do? <laughs> what are you going to do? It's called spamming. <laughs> yeah, it's called spamming and blowing up your opponent. Well, you shouldn't have put all your guys together. I, I know, I know. Gone. I completely forgot at the start. Uh, one. Only got one this time. Okay, one. So it's on the Citizen of Venice. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say he's going to be dead Which very also soon. regenerates my karma point, so I've spent two out of my six. Uh, no, four out of your six, because you cast no. it twice last turn. Cast it twice last turn. The first time I cast it, cost yep. me nothing, because I did damage. I get a point back again. Second time I cast it, it cost me two, and I got a point back again, because I did damage, so it cost me one. This time I did exactly the same thing, so it's only cost me two. You cheesy get. Jeez. Cheesy gotta get. Gotta love it. It's a... It's a, it's a, it's a you just got to love it's great. <laughs> I, no, 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 it is good. It is good. Um, if I was really, really going for broke, I could actually cast it again, but it would cost me even more. It would cost me three this time. Yeah, so basically um, you're balancing the karma efficiency of it. Yeah, but you, you don't just, yeah. just cast it twice. All right, for anyone that hasn't seen the video we did on magic casting, first time you cast a spell, it costs you one karma, second time it costs you two, third time three, and so on. So basically yep. what Andy's doing here is he's balancing out his cost of casting versus his regain. That's it. The chances, chances are I won't be doing that again this for, uh, in the next turn. Uh, it'll, mm. be, it'll be one karma casting uh, yeah. next time. So. Anyway, right, so that's, yep. that's that guy gone. Oh, so he's got an uh, action point left, so we will put him at the ready. Yeah. All right, well, 
you've left me no choice here. The Cafe de Misi is going to have to run and try and get into you. So for the run, he gets three onto his movement of five, so eight inches. Should get me down to the end of the bridge. If he'll sit. There. Uh, next action point, same again. Uh, let's see, three, four this time, so that's enough to try and get him into your little hybrid. Mm -hmm. So, comes down and in. And with his final attack, he will use a charge of power attack. Mm -hmm. So that gives me plus one combat. onto my combat. You can, only, you can only charge if you've if you've run or you've moved more than five inches in the previous turn. Uh, it's or if five, you've moved five or, five, five, or five or more. if you've ran. Yeah. So. so that means I have six dice in my combat pool. Minus so two for fascination, of course. Ah, yes. Minus two for fascination. Uh, so he's on four. And you need fives. That's all of them. All, of them. all four. All four. So he takes two damage then. Okay. So if you got your pencil there. Yep, yep. Finally, I hurt something. Yep, two damage. Okay. Yep. So that's his act activation done. It's on to you. Okay. Um, next up then. Ooh, let's go for a Rashar. Ugdru Rashar. Uh, you're going to try and pin me between you and your... Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> Damn you. Uh, I'm going to move him so mm -hmm. he goes three inches. Yep. Uh, I'll still move this one here. Three inches. Yep. And then he's going to run. You're going to make him run? Yeah, I'm going to make him run so he can charge you as well the next turn. Mm, fair enough. Uh, his dexterity is four. And he didn't get any. Didn't get any. But he doesn't need any because he, can, he only needs to go three. Mm -hmm. He only needs to go three. So he's run. He has and run, but he didn't move over five. Uh, or is that the... Well, you, you, or run, it says. Or run. Is or run. Okay. Yeah. So, so there's, there's a sneaky tactic for you guys. So if you are run. too close, <laughs> run them. Run from a short distance. Yeah, it, it basically means you're paying two for what's effectively an extra dice in your combat pool. Your combat pool yeah. okay. So he's going he's gonna to charge. So mm -hmm. that gets him an extra one, and it gives him an extra one for having the hybrid in yep. combat with you. Oh, the, the hybrid actually has a was, was at the ready as well, so it should have been a roll-off. Oh, well. We'll never worry about that, because the hybrid is rubbish. At the, <laughs> the cabo de is great, whereas the hybrid absolutely rubbish. Still yeah, although fascination bit. does knock the the capital BC back yeah. a fair bit. Okay, let's see what we've got. Uh, two. Okay, you got two. It's probably not enough. Uh, protection of three. Uh, minus one, of course. So. Yep, still two. Still two. The All problem right, now is, you have fear three. Yes, I have fear three. So you have to make your attack, your uh, fear check. Yeah, minus have to make three. My fear check at minus three, and my mind is four. So, so I'm down to one dice. Get an ace, which I got. Oh, you got. That's all right. Yep. Okay, next up then, uh, I'll spend a command point on the Rashar as well mm -hmm. and uh, give him an attack. So five dice again. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, that's better this time. Three. Yep. You can force me to reroll. Well, you've got three. He'll take one point. Which will put him to a pain threshold. So yes, I will spend a karma to make you re-roll three of those. Right. One of, them, one, of the, one of them is the destiny dice. So. If one of your successes is destiny destiny dice, it's still re-roll three. So you have to re-roll one of your failures as well. Right. Okay. And we get uh, what's your dex six? six? So it's two this time. It's two. two. So he takes two damage, which means pain threshold. Which means he gets a stun counter. And another morale check. And another morale check. And actually that sits in a Venice here. Should already have one as well. Which we forgot. Sorry guys. It's alright. Okay, morale so check on exciting, you see. one dice. I uh, failed this failed. time. Okay, so next turn 
all he can do is uh, try to disengage, which yep. he can do automatically, actually. So yep, he has the slippery. But he, to, but he has to run towards his, uh, back towards his table edge. Yep, I have to use all my action points to run as far as I can away from you. Yep. Yeah, those rash are, are painful. Yeah, it's pretty painful. Okay, next up, uh, one of yours. Uh, yeah, I think this time I'm going to have to try for the sneak attack. Okay, so... so Ooh, not, not good, good enough. enough. Not good enough, but I can pick something else to activate. Yeah, something else to activate. So it time. will be the harlot who is going to run on her dax of five. Oh, and it's a fumble. So she loses her one ace that she did get and only moves five. So that takes her to top of the bridge. Do the same again. And she gets one, so that's six. Hey. And then I will make her run one last time. She gets one, two, three, four. Doesn't matter, she's going into your Ugduru Rashar. Mm -hmm. Then I will spend a command point to make her attack. Can you spend a command point from a commander that's fleeing? Can you? I don't know. Hmm. He's just failed his morale check. He's failed his morale check. Hmm. Does it say in the book or? I don't, I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> well, <laughs> shall we five up it? Uh, it doesn't matter, go ahead, spend <laughs> it. All right, anyway. Uh, she has a combat of four. She's gonna invest two karma into it to roll six. Oh, we have one fumble and one ace, so, so absolutely nothing, nothing happens. Nothing. Yeah. That was, a, that was a, good, a good spending of two karma then. Yeah, that was a complete waste. Wonderful. Mark those off. Okay. Um, next up then. Mm-hmm. It would be silly not to charge this guy. So he's gonna make a run. Uh huh. Uh, gets three. Mm -hmm. uh, doesn't really matter. His movement will take him there anyway. And yep. then he will charge. So that's uh, four, five, and one for uh, charging. Fascination one. Uh, so I'll invest a karma point as well then, so yep. that'll that'll ignore that. Yeah, so and now you're going to beat up the harlot. Yeah. And you got uh, critical. a critical. So critical and three, so... Critical and three, seven? Yep, so you can... Seven, I assume you have penetration one. A penetration one. Yep, so my protection goes to two, which means I take five. Yep, that's that's a pretty hefty, one, two, hefty three, dunk. three, four... Five. She's on her second pain threshold. And I have another action point left. Oh no, I don't, because I, I moved and charged. Oh no, I did, I do, because I've got three action points in these guys. Yikes. So, uh, that's another five then. Yeah. For another, another attack. Yeah. Uh, one, two. Two, and my protection's two, so. So it's gonna be Thankfully nice. that's not as bad. That just shows you how heavy a hit that was from Andy last time. Yeah, it's not so bad. Yep. Um, okay, so that's him. That's him activated. Yep. Uh, so my next activation um, this, this guy's round well. is going to have to be the citizen of Venice who's not stunned. And she is going to try to run on Dax 4. Uh, she gets 3. So 3 onto her movement of 4 is 8. No, 7. Brings her to the top of the bridge. And unfortunately, oh wait, no, she does have another action point. It's the other one that I'm going to be able to run once. Oop. Yikes. Put these back. Oh, um, actually, your harlot needs a morale check as well, having been hit twice. Yes, she does. Unfortunately, she automatically fails. Yay. <laughs> so she's stunned and, uh, and yep. automatically fails, so she has to run. Yep, next turn she has to run. 
Uh, other role for the six Mate, and that's, that's because guys, she only has three mind and fear fear three in those rush hour, So, ouch. I fumbled properly for my run, so my Citizen of Venice does not move at all. Okay. Yep. Now, next up, I've got one one left. You've got um, your hybrid left. And... Who apparently is just wandering about the battlefield at the minute. No, there's actually a point in this hybrid being here. Um, right. And that is... Let's see, we're going to move her four mm -hmm. to here. Um, actually, no, we're not going to move. We're going to move her maybe about there. Or we're not. The reason, the reason, the reason I'm fiddling about with this is because I wanted to go on that. She's blocking the other guy from coming in. Um, he can't appear within five inches of uh, of any enemy. Yeah. So, so you're basically creating a small circle around her keep me away from your leader well so that he can't you, you're you're gonna have to appear somewhere down here in which case you're gonna have to fight through all them yeah to, to get in so okay that's uh that's all my guys done yeah uh i have one citizen of venice left i have to take one action point to remove his stun so pay that and then he's going to try and run to join everybody else my citizens just seem to have hung back from everyone else so Oh, critical. So that's four plus two is six. He moves ten inches. Fortunately, he can't move past the girl on the bridge because there's no space for the model to move past. Yep. So, top of the round. Top of the round. I have three, three command left. Your guy, I don't know if he's in command or not, but mm. because he's, uh, he's running away. The commander's running away. So yep. that's, I've got one. You have one. I have three command as well. I get one, one as well, but your mind. My mind of six. Damn. Means I go first. Uh huh. Okay. So, first of all, we shall activate the Magi Rashar. Uh huh. Um, I have a feeling I know what he's going to do. He's going to shoot. <laughs> shoot, 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 as always. Yep. Um, I'm going to shoot the two. Uh, yep, you're going to shoot the front the citizen of Venice. Yep. Uh, using just one karma, so. Mm -hmm. Oops. Well, another. Uh, one, two, three, three. Three. Well, put your pipe plate down because I think you can get the harlot as well. Ooh, possibly. No, no, it's not. No? It's, it's big, but it's not that big. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. So, each of them takes three. Well, my first citizen of Venice is now fallen in combat. And my second one is at the pain threshold. So, Excellent. he is dead, for all intents and purposes of this game. Mm -hmm. And she is stunned. Okay. That close of the Hydra hurts. It hurts a lot. It, like nothing else. Mind you, the doctors of the hospital, they can do it as well. So it's, you mm. know, the doctors are monstrous too. And they, they also have the big spirit cannons as well. Yeah. Okay, um, I've now got another two action points left. Yep. Um, what to do, what to do. That, of course, regenerates me a... A, a karma point, a karma so point you technically so didn't spend one yeah. there. Um, I think I will move him. Okay. He's got four inches, so that'll be enough to get him down there. He has a halberd, so it's going to reach two. Yeah. So I'll attack. So you can attack, attack the through your the miniature. Middle. Yikes. Capo in the middle. Yeah. Um, uh, it's, it's combat two, and another two for the other guys in combat. Yeah, and my deck is six. So two tens. Fumble. Fumble, so only one. So one, and my protection saves me. Yeah. Thankfully. Okay. Okay. Uh, so my go, I'm going to try. The thing is, as well, if I had if I had damage with that, I could have uh, regenerated another karma point. I hate so. you. I hate <laughs> you so much. Oh, we're evil and we love to suck souls. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I'll try and get my butcher in again. Yeah. Come on. Nope. No. No. <laughs> 
Okay. Uh, this, yeah. is, this is turn so. three as well. Actually, we probably should take a keep a note of uh, what yeah, turn Yeah, this is round three, not round turn three. three. Yeah, round three. So uh, I have to activate the car Harlot. Or is, it, or is it turn four? I don't know. No, 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 it's round three. Round three. Because nice. I've only had two shots at getting the butcher in. Okay, so anyway. that's my first guy activated. Yep, I have to activate the harlot. She has to pay a point to remove her stun. And then she has to start running away. So, five dice. So, actually, no, she has the to only, try and the disengage. Only she, the only thing she can do is disengage, yeah. Yeah, so, opposed dexterity roll. Yep, well, I'm just going to hit you instead, so. Oh, you, no, no, no. With her being elusive, it's an opposed dexterity roll before you okay. get to decide. Okay, so. Uh, three ones and a one, one success. Uh, no successes. Well, I hit you then. <laughs> so you're just gonna hit me before I go away. Yep. Okay. So off you go. Uh, one, two, three, four. Four hits. Four hits and minus one to your protection. Four hits, minus one to my protection. I'm gonna pay uh, a karma for the reroll one, or reroll two. Reroll two. So one, two. Oh no, sorry. If I pay one. Yeah, I have to spend one karma for each reroll, so reroll one. Reroll one, so it's three. Reroll one, nine, so it's still three. Yeah, still four. Still four, so she takes two. Minus one to your. Uh, yes, yeah, she's protection three. All right, so. Yeah. Yep. Oh, the harlot is not looking good right now, guys. She's down to her last life point. But you can still run, though, because I only took a, a hit at you. Yeah, I know. So she runs and away. The choices, of course. Or I can stop them getting away, which means you don't hit them, but it's still yeah. in combat. Or you can just hit them and let them let them run. Yeah, so she runs away and she runs two successes, so seven inches towards the nearest table edge, isn't it? Uh, I think it's back towards your table edge. I'm not really sure. Okay, we'll play it that way for now, but I think it's the other way. So seven inches brings me to the top of the bridge. And unfortunately, she has no more action points because it cost her one to disengage. Okay, so we'll activate again. This time I'll activate this Uldru Rashar. And he'll attack the capo. Um, uh -huh. He has four, and there's three guys come up with him. Uh, but it's a maximum of two. So, maximum of two. Yep. Uh, spend a karma point then. <laughs> right. Not another one. Uh, that'll be one, two, three, three. Three and a fumble, so it's two. Two. Yeah, two. Not very good. Two. So his armor protects him this time. Okay, so next action point is another attack then. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, you need your morale check. But you're, you guys are already running, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, do you have to morale check again whenever you're already running, I wonder? Yeah, no, you don't. You don't. You just, you're just running. Yep. Uh, so it's another another attack then. Mm-hmm. Um, Two, three, four this time. Four this time. Uh, t -t 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 -t. Oh, you're dexterity six, isn't it? Dex six, yes. Five then. Five? Yep. Uh, right, I'm going to pay a karma point. Reroll all. Destiny dice included? Yep. Whenever you reroll all, you reroll every dice, including your karma, or er, including your destiny dice. Okay. And you got a critical. Critical this time. So critical and one. Yeah, so it's the same again. Same again. Yep. So it's five damage to him. Minus, minus one. Minus one on his protection is four. And guess what? What? He's dead. Yay! So you've <laughs> killed my commander. That means I have to make Moral a check group, for everyone. group yep. mind roll. Uh, the highest mind I have left. Uh, see, three on the butcher. Yep. The butcher's not on the table, though. Yep. So... It's down to the harlot, who has a mind of two. <coughs> <laughs> <coughs> or the citizen of Venice, who has a mind of three. So, grip morale roll on three dice. Uh, take the capo out of there. Okay, they made it, so everybody else is not running away at the minute. <laughs> but who else? Who's, it the, looks, who's not running away? <laughs> it looks like the guild may lose today. Um, okay, so, that was, and I've got one action point left. Yep, um, you have one action point left, so I assume you're going to start moving toward the two ladies would, left on the I bridge. Would say that's, that's you're going to kill the women folk. Um, do you know? Do you know something? I'm not. I'm going to go into. Uh, at the ready. At the ready. <laughs> just, just in the off chance this butcher turns up. Aye. At which point he's going to get emptied. Yeah. 
Now you see, I think at this point we need to actually come back for another video later on <laughs> and say how we would improve our starting forces. Well, that's that's it. Um, but I don't know, what, are you giving up? I would say yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say yeah. This, this, fishman, fishman win. This is a fishman point win. where no, you have. No, no, no. It was a good game, was but some I've lost my rules. leader, and it was. Yeah. See, this is the thing, guys. I know Andy has well, completely trashed me here. I am going to go away. I'm going to look through this book. <laughs> I'm going to mine it, and I am coming back for a rematch. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, join us later on. We'll we'll go to backstage and we'll have a discussion about what we thought of the game, and uh, we'll see you there. Otherwise, enjoy Carnival Week, and we'll see you again. Thank you.